This is the first time I've actually done a video on this subject, but it's one that I feel like I really do need to touch on. So the Beaver Lab Intelligent Microscope M2 actually just came in only a few days ago. Beaver Lab uh, sent it to me. Originally, I didn't really see how it would fit in necessarily with the theme of my channel, which is astrophotography. But then I did realize, and you saw it in the quote before the video actually began, to actually truly understand the way our universe works and the things out of this world, we really need to learn and study the things that are deep within. So I do have a lot of really good things to say about the Beaver Lab Intelligent Microscope M2, um, but let's go ahead and check it out. So they sent it recently, like of course, it comes with several different samples that you can look at. There's a slice of a plant, there's an ant leg, um, and some other stuff I generally tend to not um, look at samples and I try to take it out to see more things out in the actual world uh, to see what it can really do real world situation not just stuck in a little clip um, but it's really nice it comes with the actual base you can see here I haven't really used it the base does have a lot of very handy features uh, of course one of those things is if you do plan on using the slides you can turn this little light on here and it is rechargeable with a Type-C charger, which it does come with, of course. Um, you can light up the slides to make things easier to see and much brighter. You can adjust the actual tone of the light in regards to color. Let me go ahead and show it to you here. You change it pretty much all colors of the rainbow. So it's a lot of nice little details that they put in here uh, to help you get good viewing of these smaller objects. Um, and not only that, the actual microscope part of this is in fact detachable. You can actually take it out and just carry it around with you, um, try it on different things, whether it's a tree or uh, grass or any plant or bug. You don't have to have it on this thing. It's very mobile, so you can actually take it around with you to numerous places. It's, you're not just limited to having it on one base. So you go ahead and slide it in. Of course, this is how it is originally. You go ahead and put the little slider in here. You can lift it up, push it down, and then you just go ahead and turn it on here. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you guys ever do decide to buy this specific microscope, do not use a USB Type-C charger to USB Type-C charger. It has to be USB-A to USB Type-C. Otherwise, it will not charge correctly. Um, initially, I thought that it would be okay. Um, I thought that, oh, if I put the Type-C in with type C then it'll charge faster but it actually just ends up not charging at all so make sure that you use it either the charger that came with it or just some other USB-C to USB type A. So it has this also knob here so you can uh, raise it and lower it to get perfect focus and uh, just to demonstrate that I have this let's see I have this seed pod right here on this table as you can hear I'm outside you go ahead and set this here and you should be able to see a live feed on the video you put it there and then to get perfect focus you just go ahead and either zoom out or you zoom in and you can also adjust these little knobs here to get that perfect focus and you can actually record video and take pictures with this same device and it is a HD uh, resolution display and you can change the brightness of it or you can use these little buttons here on the back to actually zoom in even further to get even more detail on what you're looking at. So I think that it's super, super cool. Um, looking at this, you can use it to study rock formations, you can use it to study flowers, and using it to study rock formations is actually gonna allow you to see these different minerals and things that you would also find in things like asteroids and meteors. These things that you would find only out in space, 
and you can actually use this specific microscope to study perhaps the kinds of rocks and minerals that would be on other planets or on the asteroids. Remember how NASA actually sent a space device to go collect some of the surface of an asteroid. Some of these different minerals that you see on your own display by observing different rock formations are going to be some of the same kinds of materials that you could potentially find out in space. So using this to learn about our own world, again, is going to teach you a lot about the world that's beyond our planet. Another really nice thing that I like about this uh, specific microscope is that it's not expensive. Um, depending on which one of these microscopes you get, it can be only about $100. Uh, and again, it is a HD resolution display. It comes with 32 gigabytes of storage built in. And you can actually connect it to your smartphone as well. So if you don't want to view it on this little screen, you can actually connect through the Wi-Fi of this Beaver Lab microscope and view it on your phone. You can control it on your phone with picture taking and video taking, and you can automatically upload things to your device without actually having to take out any kind of SD card or anything. Honestly, I was somewhat iffy about uh, certain Beaver Lab telescopes and microscopes. I had heard some really bad stuff about some of their products, including this microscope, but actually being able to use it myself, I really, really like it. And I do see the practicality of how it can be used um, if you're into astrophotography, or even if you're not into astrophotography, maybe you just want to learn more about the world around you, it's definitely a good choice for a microscope instead of using the ones that are not digital. Um, of course, it is cool uh, if it is not digital for you can be able to actually watch the things that yourself, uh, watch it with your own eyes. But the fact that we're able to record pictures, uh, record video with one device on an HD again display, I do find that very handy. So uh, if you're interested in the Beaver Lab Intelligent Microscope M2, I would definitely say that it's definitely worth the price that they're selling it for. Um, it's definitely a good little tool for you to use, again, either in the hobby of astrophotography or if you're not, uh, just for day-to-day -day use or even for educational purposes, definitely think you should check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps to support the channel and uh, I hope to see you guys again in another video. Clear skies, everyone. Thank you.